Welcome to On Networking. Conversations with thought leaders in networking technologies. Hello, I'm Jeff Doyle, and we're talking with Yusuf Baiji uh, from Cisco Systems, a security expert. And, um, and Yusuf, uh, I'd like to ask you a bit about the CCIE uh, security track. Okay. And um, uh, there are a lot of people out there that are uh, focused on getting that as a goal. Mm -hmm. And, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, would like to learn a little bit mm -hmm. about strategies, uh, resources available for, uh, for going that direction. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be uh, interviewed and sitting with you here. Uh, I've been uh, primarily responsible for the CCA security program and uh, I would like to share some some uh, information about the the track itself so first of all just wanted to elaborate on the structure of the Cisco certification we have three hierarchies of certification we call it the associate level certification where a person starts at the elementary level the juniors the beginners then we have the professional level certifications where there are more people who are uh, on the job and uh, working through the products and technologies. And then we have the expert level certification where the CCIE program comes into play. So at the, at the beginner, at the associate level, we have the CCNA program, which kind of talks about all the fundamental concepts, so IP routing, routing protocols, switching, and all the fundamental things. Then we have the professional. Now in the professional, a candidate or, or uh, a person can choose his career, so whether he wants to continue going in the core technologies, such as BGP, OSPF, and uh, switching, or he wants to specialize in security, for that matter. So he chooses the security professional certification, or he wants to specialize in voice, so he chooses the voice professional. So we have quite a number of options and flavors at the professional level. And that again rolls up and builds on to the expert level. So if you pursued a security career and you want to be an expert at the security, so from the professional level, you move up one level to the expert level. And that's where the product of CCI security certification comes into play. And my job primarily at Cisco, I mean, uh, people just, I introduce myself is to, to make sure that we kind of certify the experts in the industry at the, in the security domain. So what I do basically is uh, manage the program life cycle for the security track. And uh, what I mean by that is to ensure that the exam or the certification certifies people in all segments and all areas of security, so from firewall, uh, VPN, intrusion prevention, identity theft, um, physical security, uh, security policies, so ISO audits, uh, SOGs, compliances, and regulators. So this certification is quite intensive, and there are two parts in the CCI security certification. There is a uh, two exams basically. So the first one is the written exam, and which is the conceptual level exam architecture. So we, we validate your concepts. And the second piece is called the lab exam, which validates the implementation of the concepts. So the lab exam in the CCA, which is what makes the whole CCA experience a more unique and a more challenging experience. And it's a hands-on exam. CCI security tests your knowledge on all the areas, as I just told you, firewall, VPN, intrusion, and identity security, and stuff like that. And there are a lot of resources available, and that's a, a biggest uh, challenge from a candidate's perspective on what to study, where to study from, how much to study, you know, from an exam perspective or from a certification perspective. So there are a lot of resources and I always tell them, look, there is no single resource or single book or a single training that you can do to earn your CCI certification. It's an ongoing thing, you know. It, um, there are three important uh, breakdown or uh, should I say three uh, combination of things that you need to do in order to achieve certification. One is your experience, one is your education, so all the, all the knowledge that you have. 
The second one is your education, you know, your trainings, the books. And third one is your hands-on and real-time exposure to the products and technologies. Because you can learn so much, but if you have not been exposed to those kind of things, mm -hmm. you cannot be a good uh, engineer, right? So uh, I read so many books on firewall, yet I've never seen a real-time uh, attack, right? And I don't know how to use the firewall to mitigate that attack. So it's a combination of things, and, and this certification very much focuses on all these three areas. So it's not only about product, and I always say this in my class also, that CCIE exams, not only security, but all CCIE exams, they are not about products. They are about technology and how you can implement the technology to, to have a better network, you know, a stronger sure. network. Um, I, I know that uh, in, the, in the routing and switching, uh, lab test you know it's it's notorious for yeah. uh, uh, for being challenging just from a time management Absolutely. perspective and, Absolutely. And, um, you know, I've had, uh, and I'm sure the security is the is same equally way. is the same way. Right. Absolutely, I mean, the lab exam, as I said earlier, is the most grueling. I mean, that's the one most difficult exam that personally I have come across. You know, I've done a lot of certification, a lot of trainings, but CCI is like wow. You know, it's hands full, and it's an eight-hour exam. Mm -hmm. It's very intensive, and you have to do a lot of things in a very little time. So, the the bottom line is you have to be perfect. You know, yeah. we, we want, we, and again, uh, I'll, I'll give you an analogy of a medical doctor, right? Well, the way I see my vision of, uh, my definition of a network is a living organism. So if, in any living organism, if you are managing a living organism, you don't want to play around with it. If you are sick, you don't want a doctor to experiment on you, right? Similarly, on a network, today a network is a living organism. You don't want some engineer come and trial and error and test on it. So we need those experts who really know the technology well, who really know the products well, that the customers, the audience, the business people can rely on these people to run their network, right? So yeah. that's why CCI security the, uh, and all the other security uh, CCI tracks are, are uh, very short of technical uh, skills, you know. Yeah. There are approximately uh, 1,400 security CCIs only, and that's a very small number. 1,400 is nothing. This is worldwide. And according to the surveys we have done, there is a huge technical gap, a huge shortage of skills in the industry globally. More than 10,000 people are required around the world. So we are like trying to catch up on those numbers, right? And, and mm -hmm. people, and, and the industry needs them, right? Because as I told you again, we don't want uh, uh, someone who's not so expert dealing with a live organism, right? Because it's um, it's critical in my opinion. And security, as we discussed earlier, is security is an important element part of the network. Sure, and that's a great analogy, um, um, you know, to to a live organism. Um, as far as the you know, I've heard in the past um, CCIE candidates say, oh, I failed the exam, if I only had had three days, three days so I could have done all this. I nailed this, and, you know? uh, and, But that's, that's an important part yeah, of it. Is, yeah, it's is in that, a shorter that, time, uh, you have to achieve an excellence. So yeah. how can you achieve excellence in a short amount of time and make sure you do it to a perfection level, you know, not just as an, okay, that's acceptable. We don't want acceptable, we want exactly. perfection, you know, exactly. to the very last dot, you know have to be able to perform well under perform pressure. Well, under pressure. that's what and happens in real life. Exactly, and real time, real life is like that, you know. So, I mean, it's very interesting, and personally, I really enjoy this, uh, this uh, position. I mean, it's fascinating to be in this role, because I, uh, I always have, I'm always told by my management, you know, think innovative, think different, you know. Sure. Don't do things that we did uh, five years ago or 10 years ago. So. Even in the CCIE uh, back in uh, five, ten years ago, CCIE lab exam was different. It was used to be two days exam, uh, a lot of trivial things. I mean, I, I can call it trivial now. Back then, it was very difficult. But today, the model or the framework of the certifications have really changed. And I can speak for myself that I really try to to challenge and you know tickle their brains. You know that okay, well, what is he trying to ask me here? You know. 
So the knowledge of protocol is very important, and I emphasized that earlier that whoever wants to do CCI security, don't just read about products. Learn about the protocols. You know, you need to know. For example, HTTP. There are so many vulnerabilities because back. 20 years ago, back when this protocol was written, IP protocol, people didn't think about security. People didn't think about intrusion and problems. So there are a lot of vulnerabilities, and that's where the bad guys tap into. You know, they abuse yeah. those uh, vulnerabilities, and and that's where we come into play. That we need to uh, block all the holes. You know. Is, you mentioned that there's no uh, proper way to, or, or no one single, single way to, to prepare, but uh, uh, can, you, um, can you suggest some strategies, particularly around the hands-on part? That's, okay. that's the piece that is, is such a challenge for a lot sure. of people that maybe don't have access. Sure, sure, and to, uh, uh, it, it's uh, definitely an important uh, question for uh, candidates to, to plan their, their study, right? So the first thing I, 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 I recommend that every, every candidate who wants to pursue any certification for that matter is to assess their own strengths and weaknesses. So look at yourself and first of all go to cisco.com on, on the CCIE website and download the blueprint. There is a blueprint that what will be in the exam. So go through the blueprint do some analysis, check yourself how good you are, assess yourself how good you are in each individual technology. So for example, how, are, how good you are on VPN? Within VPN, there are so many subcategories, so land-to-land -land VPN, remote access VPN, SSL VPN, so many different varieties. Assess in very detail that where are your strengths and where are your weaknesses. Once you establish that, you will have a pretty good idea of which path you need to go to. And I always say this, that some people in the CCIE world, they always uh, like to follow someone. So follow in the sense like, uh, oh, I know a friend, he passes secure, CCIE security on first attempt. So yeah. probably uh, what recipe he used, the books he used, and the, the, the materials or the resources that he used must be really good, you know, so I should do the same. I always say, no, that is very dangerous. Don't do that. Because he chose to do something according to his area of expertise and strengths and weaknesses. You have to design your own recipe. There is no golden recipe to do CCI exam. Every single person has their own recipe. So don't copy recipes, you know. Find yourself where you are. And then we have well documented, like on my security homepage, on the CCI security homepage, I have documented the uh, reference books that you need to use, the trainings that you need to attend, and all of them are recommended, by the way. They are not a requirement per se. I mean, we just recommend, okay, if you do this training, that will be good for you. And some of them are free online, so you don't even have to pay for it. You just need to spend some time on the web, do some online trainings. Read the books, Cisco Press books. You know, we have listed all, I think there are more than uh, 10 to 12 books I have listed. So as I said earlier, there's no single book that will teach you CCI. You have to read a number of books yes. for a number of products. We have also uh, documented in the, on the same page, we have documented some online resources. So what are some of the RFCs that you need to know? What are some of the protocols you need to know? Uh, deep dive analysis and, and different things. So it's all there, documented. But again, it could be sometimes overwhelming when you just go first time, you read that, and, oh my god, I have to do all that stuff. So I mean, it's, it's not that bad when you kind of slice and dice things into smaller groups and so, okay, I will address this thing first, and this thing second, and this thing third. So s make a strategy, make a plan, and again, assess yourself. That's the, the key takeaway that I want to give a message to everyone. Great, well, thank you very much, and Yusuf, thank you for uh, taking the time to, to speak with us today. Thank you very much, thank you for having me. For more information, visit onpodcastweekly.com and subscribe to all our podcasts. Brought to you by the publishing imprints and information portal of Pearson Education.